Hello everyone, my name is Equilibrimest and this is my Dragon Age 2 gameplay series, episode number 16. And we are somewhat stuck in the deep roads. Because apparently Warwick's brother Bertrand double crossed us and left us here to die. That's family for you. I like this approach. It's like nuke everything until it's clear. Ah, that's better. Okay. Whew. 
Oof. The rock wraiths are supposed to be dwarven legends. They're not even supposed to be real. Looked pretty real to me. I suppose it doesn't matter. Look at what it was guarding. Let's see if there's something that can help us get out of here. I think I want to loot this stuff here, if I can. Right, the treasure. A key. The kind that opens doors, I... Let's collect the best pieces we can carry here and then go. I would take the gold myself, but oh well. I'd say this is our way back. How long to get back? If we're unlucky, maybe a week. And if we're lucky? We stumble over Bartrand's corpse on the way. <laughs> This part of the deep roads looks familiar. We're back where we started. We and killed the dragon here, right? Eh? Not bad, eh? Could we slow down? I I'm not feeling very well. I think all our stomachs are a bit tender right now. <laughs> I'll wager uh -oh. it was those deep mushrooms we found. No. <gasps> Bethany! Maker, no. It's the blight, isn't it? I'll end up just like Wesley, won't I? That's just like you. Keeping this to yourself. What could you have done? Swoop to my rescue. I'm not going to last until the surface. <sighs> it's coming on faster. There well, isn't anything we can do. Not down here. God damn it. You'll take care of it, won't you? Sis, you always were a heartbreaker, Bethany. And you always made me laugh. It's just you now. Take care of Mother. But oh, she's my healer. Well, damn it. So the champion was responsible for her sister's death. Yes, but that's not the connection you're looking for. Isn't it? Guilt makes for the perfect motivation. And the champion's companions, Meryl, Aveline, Isabella, that warden, Anders. Don't remind me. I introduced them. We thought they all came from Ferelden together, but now it makes sense. Motive and opportunity. It's still not what you think. Then I need to hear more. Unless you've already decided. I can always go if you don't need me anymore. 
Tell me what came next. The treasure we found in the deep roads made us a fortune. The champion moved up in the world, literally. Bought a mansion in Hightown. Everyone knew who she was now. Even the Viscount was taking notice. I felt responsible for Bethany's death. She was a good girl, and met a bad end. Three years later, the Kunari still had the rest. The Kunari insisted they were waiting for their ship. But some of us knew better. was not meant to be permanent. There are concerns the Kunari influence is no longer contained. Was it ever? Kirkwall has tension enough between Templar and Mage, but these Kunari, they sit like gargoyles waiting for Maker knows what and everyone goes mad around them. Nearly four years I've stood between fanatics. And now, this. Don't keep us in suspense. Leave us. Meredith at my throat, Orsino at my heels, and a city scared of heretical giants. Balance has held because the Conari ask for nothing. Even the space in Lowtown was a gift to contain them. But now, the Arishok has requested you. By name. What did you do? I can't help it if I make an impression. Apparently not. I remember how you helped my son. It seems you are meant to have influence above your station. Speak to the Arishok. Give him what he needs to keep the peace. Can you do that for Kirkwall, Sarah Hawk? I'm always willing to assist. Well, that is an attitude this city has lacked for a long time. Appease the Arishok. Take his demand and let him return to dormancy. As awkward as this has been, it is better than the alternative. Maker, what a mess. Good day to you, Sarah. Good day, Sarah. Well, damn it. We'll need to give them answers by tomorrow, Captain. I'll have them. Dismissed. The Seneschal was particularly vocal. Dismissed. You'd think the Captain of the Guard could requisition a Templar or two, but no, that would be demeaning. Can't have them working for the people when Eternity needs a nanny. That's why I remain unimportant. Less pressure. 
As if the return of the Amels hasn't set Hightown on its ear. As long as it's off its ass. Sure, have your fun. But the coin you poured into Kirkwall tipped what balance there was. Grouse all you want. But the Aveline I know doesn't regret a second as captain. They'd have to drag me out of here. And I'm sure some are lining up to try. You among them, I bet. Haven't had much time to follow you around. Not that I need to. I can trust that you at least try to do right. But I'm with you if you need me, Hawk. Just say the word. Oh, jeez. like your people, Bowden. Indeed. It's quite a shame, really. Uh, there, there's a, a, a gentleman waiting at the mansion. He insists on seeing you. He says his name is Dougal. Your mother thought he wise, I tell you, Messina. I paid Dougal years ago. Why would he be back now? He wouldn't tell me, I'm afraid. He refused to come back another day, even after I told him repeatedly that I didn't know when you would return. He doesn't really seem like the most reputable sort, I'm afraid, even for a dwarf. You left him alone in the mansion with Mother? My boy Sandal is with her. But, uh, you make a good point. I'll run back right away. Uh, before I go... May I simply say how grateful I am that you've allowed my boy to stay in your home. I said I would repay you for saving Sandal's life, and I shall serve you faithfully. It is good to know he is safe. Let me guess. This was Mother's idea? <laughs> As you say, yes. I'll leave you to your business. Don't forget about your guest. Your mother claims he was iron the silverware. Okay. Quiet day in Hightown. Just the way I like it. Okay, so I have to talk to Fenris and all the other companions that I have. A lot of things are my fault. My sons are lost in the deep roads because of stories about you. Your sodding glory and treasure. Don't you dare blame her. We both know this was Iwin's doing. If you want to keep your job, shut your mouth, woman. Your boys are grown men. It was their own decision. Your boys don't sound bright enough to follow a map. I'm sure they didn't get too far. My boys aren't stupid. Foolhardy, maybe, but not stupid. You're the only one who knows where they went. They were following the path of your expedition. Please help me find them. Don't let my boys die down there. Sure, I'll look. How many Darkspawn could have come back in three years anyway? Thank you, Masser. Those boys are my life. They entered the deep roads using the same passage you did. Please find them. I will see you rewarded for your efforts. Oh, jeez. Always helping the needy, it seems.
Now the question I have is that where the hell do I get another healer? My sister going to was the only one I know, unless Anders is healing. Seneschal's tax collector won't be coming around again like you asked. Funny story. I'll pass, but thank you for the help. Spoil sport. Why you want to squat up here in Hightown is beyond me. I like the view. So do I. Three years. There's still no sign of Daenerys. I'm beginning to wonder if he's finally given up. Don't tell me you're going to miss all the attention. Tell me, what do you do when you stop running? around and start anew I don't know how my first memory is receiving these markings the lyrium being branded into my flesh the agony wiped away everything whatever life I had before I became a slave it's lost I shouldn't trouble you with this my problems are not yours I might be able to help with your problems or give you a few more. <laughs> Only a few. It depends if I really work at it. Tempting. You're a beautiful woman, Hawk. Is there no one else who has your attention? The day is still young. I'm an escaped slave and an elf living in a borrowed mansion. None of those things bother you. And I'm a refugee as well as a human. Does that bother you? You have me there. You raise an interesting point. I'll have to consider it. Right. <sighs> now let's speak to Warwick. And Isabella. It's like you haven't moved in three years. It's easier for people to find me this way. Do you remember the relic I told you about? The one I need to find? I've been following a lead. I'm so close I can taste it. Isn't that what you said last time? Oh, you mean when I went digging for that stash? Yes. ...that turned out to contain several badly written poems and an old boot. It could have contained the relic. Look, I know how you feel about this, but it's important to me... ...and I'm going to need your help when the time comes. Just promise me you'll consider it. Do I get a kiss from the feisty temptress... ...when I present her with the hard-won prize? If you want. I'll even let you choose where I plant it. <laughs> oh my. Hmm, where was I? Oh, very Just tell me if you hear more rumblings from the coterie about protection. Blondie's got enough trouble. Let me ask you something, Hawk. You made it into Hightown. I'd expect anyone else to get complacent, but you... you must have plans. I could go into business for myself. You must have pointers on that, don't you, Varric? A business is like a puppy. 
Take your eyes off it, and soon there's shit all over your floor. To be honest, I thought there might be a chance you'd want to go back to Ferelden now that things have calmed down. It's good to hear you're sticking around. What would I do without my trusty dwarf? I'd cry myself to sleep without you. Oh, don't get all teary-eyed on me, Hawk. You know I can't stand to see a human cry. So, we've got a whole city-state full of trouble to get into. Shall we get started? Okay, Dark Town, and then Fool's Gold. time you pick up one of these diseases isn't that the point of magic I don't want to know things just keep getting worse I had Templars practically on my doorstep the other night I can't say you've been keeping a low profile the night commander is out of control even her own people have been talking about it the curfews, the midnight raids on mages' families. Everyone I know forced into hiding so they won't be made tranquil. Justice must not know where to turn first. In the Fade, there is no time. Emotion rules everything. Justice doesn't know how to sit idle until the right moment to strike. And I can't say I have any greater patience. I fear what my anger is made of, my friend. What's the worst that can happen? You turn into an abomination and start... <sighs> Never mind. Bad joke. My control is fraying. I cannot hold back justice. Or whatever creature he has become much longer. I have not attacked the Templars openly. I've held the mages here as best I can. But this impasse cannot last. Just being with me puts you at risk. The Knight Commander has declared supporting apostates a hanging offense. The thought of them hurting you. Everything I've done to control this. I don't care. I would drown us in blood to keep you safe. I don't want to see you lose yourself. To the Templars or Justice. How much is left if you strip both those out? I'm sorry. I can't be anyone but who I am. There will be more violence. I know that. If you tie yourself to me, I'll only hurt you. You keep saying that. You haven't yet. You could have a normal life. You don't want to be with an apostate. Don't tempt me. Not unless you're ready for what that means. Right.
Oh, that looks good. Shouldn't have come alone. For some reason, I thought that it will offer me the option to choose my party. Guess not. Let's go see this guy then. Ah, oh, that's a nice place. Settled in nicely. It's just luck and skill. Indeed. Still, more coin never hurts, right? Say, if someone wanted to pass some work your way. So, how can I be of service this time? Someone's trying to be a guard, poorly. Remember Emmerich, the Templar? He wants your help. ...and some sort of official sanction. Official sanction? For his... ...investigation. He's convinced that every random murder in the past few years is connected... ...and he won't be quiet. Muzzle the geezer. Got it. I would never say that. But if it leads somewhere genuine... ...I'll pick it up on your word. If he shuts up, that's good too. He's in the gallows. Thanks, Hawk. I appreciate it. Why, hello again. Lovely home you have here. And may I say your mother makes for delightful company? 
Another visitor. We've moved up in the world, Mother. Evidently so. My apologies, Sarah. Your daughter and I simply have a bit of business to conclude. I'll leave you two alone, then. Be careful. Darling woman. A shame that she spends so much time here, alone. She fills her days making poisons. And cake. Tell me you didn't try the cake. <laughs> Good thing I just had the tea, then. Allow me to get right to the point. I know all this came from Deep Road's treasure. I know you repaid me, but I think I deserve a larger share of your fortune. Fair's fair, right? Isn't this a conversation we should have had, say, three years ago? What can I say? Things have gone poorly for me and I'm a bitter man. Give me another, oh, hundred sovereigns and I'll go away. If you don't, I'll make things unpleasant. Simple enough, no? Let's see. Do I respond well to threats? I don't think I do. Pity. Have it your way, Hawk. We'll be seeing each other again, I'm sure. Yeah, asshole. And as manifesto. This thing turns up everywhere. Oh god. to my journal. Isabella seemed disappointed that she didn't find anything worth gossiping about. Snoop. Handprints? Was someone swinging on the chandelier? Oh, the sandal. Okay, and right here, right now, it's time to end episode number 16 of my Dragon Age 2 gameplay series. So, thank you for watching me, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you in the next game episode. Bye bye!